How to make a token NPC in Dark Souls 2. Before we start, let me be clear with something. This is going to be a video on how to add simple dialogue lines. Imagine something like the ghosts in Elden Ring that are always repeating the same text, the same lines. The more complex you want your NPC, the more complex the actual script is going to get. And I, I don't know, I don't know what this is, honestly. Also, I'm assuming you already know how to create an NPC. I'll be using DS Map Studio version 1.10. If you are from the future, things may look different. So, go to the Souls Modding Wiki, which is a great page. It has a lot of information. Wait, what is that? Go to the Tools section and search for ESD Tool. If you've never seen this page before, it's, it's the zip file. Do not download this here. It's the zip file. Read the instructions if you know what this means. I honestly don't know. But anyways, we're going to use ESD tool to decompile the talk ESD events found in the EZ state folder. In this case, I'm going to grab Majula's talk ESD. And the thing with ESD tool is that when you try to decompile a DS2 ESD file, it's going to show this error message saying that it can't find this file. That file is a Dark Souls 3 file. I assume the tool is set for Dark Souls 3. Uh, I don't know. What I do is simply make a copy of the regulation file and give that name to the copy and now it works maybe again maybe in the future is going to is going to work normally for now let's make a copy of the regulation file and here it is this is the script that manages the dialogues in majula we're going to make a new one for our new npc the way these events work they are always going to start as talk underscore the ID of the map and then the ID of the event. For example, the Emerald Herald's ID is 70, 0 and 0. And our new event is going to look something like this. I'm going to give a new ID to my custom event, which is going to be 71, 0, 0. And now I'm going to go to the event param and create a new event with this ID. As it turns out, the event param also has the talking params. So if you want to search which event has the talking event of the Emerald Herald, you will search the one that has the event ID 7000. I'm going to use this one for reference and duplicate it but instead of 7000, I'm going to change that to 7100, which is the ID of the talk event I used earlier. Now, in this field, the flag ID, that's actually the generator param ID of your NPC. If you go to the generator param in Majula, 205 is actually the Emerald Herald. In my example, I created a new NPC with the generator param ID of 95. So I'm going to add that 95 here. Now, we're going to create a new dialogue message. Currently, the text editor doesn't have the options to edit dialogue, like map dialogue. So we have to do it manually. We have to go to the menu folder and text. English and the talk folder, Majula's text file. Use either Yaber or Witchy. I'm going to add a new line with new dialogue and of course a new ID. And after that is done, we're going to go to the NPC talk param that has all of the conversations. Now, these fields that says 
text ID male and text ID female should look more something like this. One is for the text, one is for the audio, and as you can imagine, we are going to use the ID of the new line we created and add it here. I'm going to leave the audio section empty and I'm going to leave this note here. I'm not going to explain this in the video, so pause so you can read it. And now we're going to grab the ID of the conversation and add it to our script in the talk event. Drag and drop the text file this time into the ESD tool exe. It's going to show this window. This is normal. Save your progress in Map Studio, and if everything is right, the new NPC should start talking to you. You're undead, aren't you? You have that distinct scent. This, this is Majula. It is a cup and in Drang Lake. And this is something funny that happened to me. The NPC started to talk like Sultan continue with Solden text. Why is that? It's actually this value here that says 256. When that field is set like that, it's going to continue with the dialog that is next. In this case, the dialog below the hearing, the param. If you set it to zero, it's going to the conversation is going to stop there. The param should look something more like this, actually. So I'm going to take this opportunity to add more lines to the dialog. And just like before, I'm going to manually add a new line and create a new conversation with the new ID, of course. And I'm going to set this conversation so that the first line continues to the next and that one is going to end the conversation. So save and reload your game and you're going to see that now our character is saying the two lines we created. Now finally how to add a shop, how to make this character a merchant. For that, we need to go to the NPC event param. This param manages everything of the NPC menu. Like when you talk to a character and you see a menu pop up, this param manages all of that. And for this example, I'm going to duplicate the head of Vengar. As you can see, there are two entries for Vengar. And this value here, the four, that adds the option to learn a gesture to the NPC menu. So I'm going to duplicate the one that doesn't have that option. And here's the thing. This param should look something more like this. I'm not good with names, but these two shop lineup fields is the, the range of the merchant because the shop lineup param has every single item of every single shop. So you need to set which is the first item of the shop and which one is the last. That's why you're going to see the 99.99 at the end. That is for if you want to create a merchant with 99.99 items. So I'm going to go to the shop lineup param and duplicate this claimer, but instead of the claimer, I'm going to add the item I want. And I'm going to add that ID to the shop lineup fields in the NPC event param. The NPC menu name ID is the name that appears in the NPC menu. So we need to edit the NPC menu text file to add our new name. And now we're going to add a new instruction to our talk event. 
and it's going to look something more like this. With the ID right here being the NPC event param ID of our new NPC. If you're curious about these instructions, one calls the instruction to create a conversation, the other calls the instruction to open the NPC menu of the of the NPC event param. But anyways, patch again the SD file, watch the cutscene, and if everything is done right, there should be a new merchant in Majula. Now, since this is a simple NPC, we don't need the talk option of the NPC menu. So, going back to the NPC event param, the field unknown 03, the value 1 adds the talk option to the NPC menu. So, we're going to set that to a 0. So, now the NPC menu only has the option to buy. This is basically it, but there is one more thing we can do. Going back to the NPC talk param, the param should look something more like this, with a gesture ID. And this is it, this is the video. Actual new talking NPCs are totally possible in Dark Souls 2. I'm super happy for this because I hope in the future we can see more mods with new NPCs that say things to you and, and sell you things. I know I made a very simple talking NPC, but I'm sure someone that understands better how to how the talk ESD work can create a very complex character that if you kill a boss, now the NPC says something different to you. I hope to see that in the future. For now, this is it, and yeah, thank you for watching.